Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I'd like to welcome you to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, September 17th. The Weekend Roundup is the show where we take a look back at the week in Big Dave is Cheap, and we take a look at the week that is yet to come. So this week, what did we do? Well, I produced a whole lot of content actually across Big Dave is Cheap and across my Rift content, so I was pretty impressed. I think I did something like six or eight videos. So in uh, TGN World, I put up another Space Marine video, a continuation of the co uh, the campaign, almost of the campaign, a continuation of the campaign, and man, that video totally and completely flopped. Not really sure what happened there. The video was a little longer than usual, clocked in at about 26, 27 minutes. Maybe that turned some people off, but uh, I went from getting an easy 1,000 views in the first couple of days to less than 200 views in a couple of days on that video, so not sure if the appetite for Space Marine content is ending over on TGN or the video was just released in an unfortunate timing. It did get sandwiched in between some other popular videos. A lot of Modern Warfare uh, 3 stuff is going up and upstaging a lot of the other content over there on TGN, but uh, I shall keep going with the Space Marine content and we'll see what happens. Here on the home channel, I did a video for Osmos, one of the games from the Humble Indie Bundle number 2, which of course I got free for buying the Humble Indie Bundle number 3. That game was very chill, it was relaxing, it was cool. It had me, you know, in a nice place. And the first video went well, I was chilled out, and then right after I stopped recording, boom! It got totally freaking hard. So I made an immediate follow-up video to let you guys know that the game gets really strategic. It gets a lot like a puzzle game, more so than just this chill-out game. And like I said in the video, I had an impression of Osmos that it was going to be a slightly more puzzly version of this game Flow, where you just sort of float around and eat stuff and try to get bigger and there's no real point to the game. But it ended up being like a full-on strategic puzzle game and it really surprised the crap out of me. So yes, indeed, Osmos. I rated the game 4 bucks out of 5, and even after it got more challenging, the rating still stands. In fact, the rating's even stronger now because the game has a lot more to offer than I initially thought that it did. We ended the week here on Big Dave is Cheap with a video for my all-time favorite collectible card game, Magic the Gathering. Yes, Magic the Gathering, Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. I believe is the full and proper complete name, which I had a lot of difficulty saying in the actual video itself. All in all, I really enjoyed that game. I love magic, so it's automatically hooked me there. Uh, the game presentation was good. It was clear. You understood what was going on. You could zoom in on the cards. You could get help with some of the uh, terminology. As a player who hasn't played in a few years or played seriously in a few years, there have been some abilities and things added and the help tips that would come up or that you had access to if a new and uh, unknown ability popped up for you, it was really good. It was nice that they presented it in plain fashion in a, in a very concise manner. Um, there were some issues with the interface. It felt like it was developed for a console, uh, very much so. There was a lot of unneeded clicking. Um, I didn't really explore the options for uh, potentially speeding things up, uh, you know, having a button that, that I could press on my keyboard to just say continue. I don't know if I could press enter, uh, but there was a lot of, you know, there's a lot of acknowledgement that goes on in magic. Someone casts something, and if you have something in your hand that you can use to counter that, the game doesn't want to move forward until you've had the opportunity to respond. So, you know, but, but then to, to contrast that, there are other places where you have a limited amount of time to respond, so it's, it's kind of interesting. Sometimes it, it bogs itself down in checking and double checking that you're ready to continue and sometimes your opportunity to respond is so quick that you miss it. So there are some weaknesses there um, that wouldn't occur if you were playing magic on a table with physical cards but they have all in all done a pretty good job of recreating the experience of playing that game and even though there are some limitations to the game like you don't have access to all of the cards that exist or even all of the current generation of cards. You can't build your own deck from the ground up. You know, that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me because I would become bogged down in a feature like that, the ability to, to customize your own deck 100%. There's a lot of nice progression in the game. There's the campaign system that you saw briefly. You unlock, you have to play to unlock things. That's always nice. Gives you something to do. All in all, 
gave Magic a 4 out of 5. That definitely stands after playing it a little bit more. I do want to try some of the other modes. For instance, there's a 3-on-1 mode. There is a... Or I think it's 3-on-1. It might be 2-on-1. And there's co-op multiplayer. I really want to try that. I've got a buddy who has it, and we will be trying that. Might make a video about that. We will see. So yes, Magic the Gathering. That was the final video that we ended on this week, and I hope everyone enjoyed that. So I always like to take a look around the internet to see if I can find any interesting gaming deals for the weekend. I am seeing absolutely nothing this weekend on the sites that I frequent. Steam is doing a limited sale on some Star Wars titles. Lots of older stuff. Um, the, the, the gem, no doubt, is Knights of the Old Republic 1 for 5 bucks. That's a decent deal. That's a great game. If you haven't played it, it's worth... It is a 5 out of 5. It's worth 5 bucks for certain. It's worth 10 bucks. It's worth the 50 bucks that I paid for it brand new on the Xbox. So, you know, that game is amazing. I would, I would advise people to check that out to at least take a look at it and consider that purchase. Otherwise, Steam is doing a Paradox sale. Uh, Paradox, of course, the great uh, developer slash publisher who produces a lot of fantastic strategic games. Uh, they have a definite style that they go for with their games. And if you like Paradox games, you like Paradox games. If you don't like one Paradox game, you may not like all Paradox games because they have a feel, they have a bent, so to speak, uh, that, that you can identify a Paradox game when you see it almost. Uh, they, are, they are thinking man's game company. Although they have produced some uh, mindless titles, but for the most part, very deep stuff. Very, very rewarding, though, when you really get into it. So check out the Paradox sale on Steam. Uh, Gamersgate had the same Paradox sale a few weeks ago. These sales do tend to make the round, so if you miss it on one site, you can usually pick it up on another a few weeks later. So yeah, that's about all I have been able to notice in the world of cheap gaming over the weekend. Let's talk about next week. Next week, I'm a little sketchy on what I want to do. I definitely have a plan to, at some point in the near future, do a, uh, a music-based game week. Um, I think I might have talked about this before, or I wanted to talk about it before, whether I did or not. Uh, I want to play some of the games that I have that, that feature music and uh, allow music to augment gameplay. Um, Polynomial, uh, Beat Hazard, Audio Surf, these sorts of games. I want to do a week for those. That's unfortunately going to have to be a week where I dedicate myself to putting out um, the content consistently. So eh, I have some time off coming up. Mm, yeah, that might uh, might be a good goal for that uh, for that little mini vacation that I'll be taking. Not really a real vacation. It's just a and I hate this term staycation. One of the worst terms that anyone has ever invented, but uh, it's just me using vacation from work because I have to use vacation from work or lose it. So I will sit on my butt for a while and enjoy just doing absolutely nothing, but probably making some gaming videos for you guys. So look for that over the next month or so. Specific plans for next week, there are none. We will come out with one or two videos for certain. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed the Osmos gameplay that I've placed in the background of this video, and I would invite you to take a look at the splash screen that I have created to end my videos. This splash screen will feature my basic communication, communication? I meant to say the word contact, not communication. This screen features my basic contact information and video previews of my two latest videos. Give me some feedback on this if you want. It'll just be the thing that ends all of my videos. It'll last about 30 seconds and then fade to black. So watch that. It's coming up right after this. And uh, give me a little feedback. You like it, you don't like it, it's stupid, whatever. The music is just some generic thing that I found on a royalty-free site. It is not my favorite song in the world, but I think it gets the point across. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave, and as always, Take it easy.